ini gitu. Ya. And I believe Oh, there have... you are. Yeah, I see it. Okay, let me cut this yeah. right on here. And then come back over where you are. And I'm back. Okay. So look at me. I'm right here. <laughs> So you know, I, I, this is my first time being on live. I've been okay. listened today. <laughs> okay. okay, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna be the one looking over here. You're gonna okay. talk to okay. Yes, so hello, December. We're back. Hey, Coach Riles, good to see you. She was in the first magazine. So ah. we are back with Meet the Contributors tonight. We have Nakia Robbins. Okay, from Delaware State. She's in the fourth magazine. And um, we're going to be talking about some things, not just the magazine, because, you know, that's kind of how I do just stuff that pops up. Yeah. So the first thing she said was, I'm surprised that I'm at home. I'm not at the MEAC. And so, uh, but I did send, for those of the attendants, a link to download uh, our magazine on PDF. Awesome. So I don't know how they received it. Uh, Their the credentials to attend the event um, was supposed to have a link for them to download with a coupon. Oh, wow. Okay. With a coupon. So let me go grab the magazine. As you can see, I, I have know. mine. I just mailed one up yesterday. People still buy. Yay. I do. So we're talking about the fourth issue of Significance of Athletics. And we have here our bridge builder, I believe, is yours. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Bridge builder. See how oh, I remember. Okay. And so. Um, oh, hey, Nikki Bottom. Oh, that's one of my former student athletes. I haven't seen you in forever. <laughs> a true leader, a, a leader from Jump Street, leader from Jump Street. So let's talk about why did you want to be in the fourth issue of Significance in Athletics? Well, first of all, um, I think it's an honor to be able to be on this edition. One, because Dr. Ingrid Wicker McCree is on the front and I'm like in awe of her. Um, I wish I had the uh, experience of being under her leadership. She did a phenomenal job in my time that I've been in athletics and um, she uh, led my alma mater. So because of that, um, I really thought, um, I'm really just just honored to be a part of it. I also think that it was important for me to share my story and to kind of tell how I got into athletics and um, the significance of what I do with the students that I work with. And so um, when the opportunity presented itself, I jumped on it. Um, I, don't, I think sometimes we underestimate what we do and the impact that we have. And uh, when we were having a discussion about it, I was like, yeah, I, I do do stuff that makes a difference. And so I just thought it was prudent for me to share. So. So, um, I, and you, she doesn't know this, but we're going to really dive deep into this intellectual property because um, I want you all to be able to see that this is being a magazine is not just talking about how you got into athletics. That's the podcast. <laughs> if you want to share your career journey, get on the podcast, and that's free. But to be in the magazine is an investment because um, I'm going to be doing some training with you. It's called expert marketing. Yes. And, and it's key for you to understand that you have got intellectual property, how to uh, monetize your specialized knowledge. Um, that's going to carry you far. Because in today's economy, you need to have another income stream. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna dial back to that in a minute, okay? But I want to at least at least come back to acknowledging uh, Dr. Ingrid Wicker McCree, who's on the cover. Now I want to be clear. Ingrid 
saw it would be important to be on the magazine based on her transition, number one. Okay. Yeah. And she invested to be on the cover. Awesome. Come on, sis. This wasn't <laughs> a gift. Okay. Uh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> uh, even though I tried to gift it to her, she says, no. What is the price? Awesome. But that's right. that shows you what type of person she is, right? Yeah, but she but it's not even about that per se. It's the fact that she knew if she was going into business, mm -hmm. she was going to have to invest yeah. in marketing herself. Correct. All right. And marketing her specialized knowledge. Right. So if she's been an athletic director for 14 years, and then again being in business longer than that, what is it that she wants? to be a consultant on that she can educate other people on. Mm. No matter what they are, she was or is, all of that's on her head. And she can duplicate that and duplicate that and duplicate that. I, I appreciate you putting it in perspective because even when you, when you reminded me that we had this meeting, I was like, you think it's still relevant for me to be a part of this conversation? And you were like, I heard yeah. you. <laughs> you were like, uh, you got a specialized knowledge. I need you to be there. So as as I look forward, I think you're right. I should be looking to capitalize or monetize the knowledge that I have, even if I'm not in the space, I'm I still know the information that I know. Exactly. Um, and I'm gonna pick your brain because as you know, I do have a contract creating some uh, programming. Yes. Um, uh, and so uh some of the things that you mentioned which is and, and mind you okay let's just back that up okay let's back that up so when i was going for the contract mm -hmm. i had a discovery call with you to find out what are the needs of uh the students young people in the state of delaware number one and mm -hmm. then i said where where's the fun place to take the kids Mm -hmm. and she gave me a list of them and so I knew that you knew how to do programming that's one reason why I asked you what your thoughts <laughs> were <laughs> yeah okay and so you're valued for that and so uh, and you've been to conferences and whatnot you know that people will bring panelists on to find out how they did what they did so the goal mm -hmm. is is to be able to use this as a springboard to educate other people about how do you be a bridge builder? Yeah. Right? How do you be a bridge builder? And um, even though this was on the student athlete development, the same concept goes for every role. Uh, one, the young lady just became the athletic director at Edward Waters. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. Dr. Rich. Dr. Dr. Rich. Dr. Rich. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Yeah. Rich. So she was in the magazine previously. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, uh, but I remember she's also my former client. And I remember saying, doing, she would hit similar role of creating programming for student athletes. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, you need to learn uh, how to go get your own money to do your own program. Mm -hmm. Uh, because the things that she wants to do that she really couldn't do, I said, well, go get your own money. Right. So in the midst of me telling her this, it became that she gained the DEI role. Right. So it made, gave her a reason to be in, for the, in front of corporate to share two roles, which is why she wrote about being DEI. Right. But the autonomy that she began to develop that if I can go get my own money and cross comps and building relationships, building that bridge builder, mm -hmm. then that raised her profile, raised her confidence. And now we're at now, right. right. I was gonna say, and now look. <laughs> exactly. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. there's purpose, you know, and if there's purpose in this flashy magazine. There's education, there's coaching that comes along with investing in this magazine. So um, what was, what was so beyond Ingrid being on the cover, what was your favorite article other than your own? 
So I connected with a couple of articles, actually. Um, I connected with Haley um, just because she uh, she was doing what I had done. Um, and, you know, she understood the, the importance of kind of building on the student athlete's academic success and objective, you know, based study hall and what that looked like. And so I connected with her article. Um, I definitely connected with um, Coach uh, Richardson from oh, yeah. Temple. Um, especially after she gave me the shout out, I was like, I gotta go back and look at her stuff because I read it. Um, and then, you know, how you kind of look through it, but I was, I was uh, intrigued by her uh, habit ac acronym and, you know, the, the, the terminology and um, definition she had given to that and accountability and brand excellence and integrity and was a lot of the words that spoke to what I believe in. And um, you know who I also, um, Dr. Um, Kofi, am I pronouncing her name? Um, because as I look to <clears throat> um, have, like you said, multiple streams of income and really develop, um, I like what she's doing with regard to the mental health and um, kind of some of the things that she's doing with uh, students in need, um, kind of, uh, I think she has a foundation of sorts where she's actually providing support, mental health support and uh, financial support to students. Um, it sounds like when I was reading was high school students and then preparing them for college. So I connected with her story just because, you know, just in my work and my time working in, in athletics and working with student athletes, the mental health of our students, whew. I mean, I just saw something today that kind of took my breath away. I was like, we really don't know what people are dealing with. And um, I saw it often, the expectation to perform and, and to not have an off day or to balance being um, a student, an athlete, you know, um, God forbid you get a boyfriend or a girlfriend in there, you have desires outside of your um, athlete status and trying to balance that all, the expectations of yourself, your coach, your, you know, your mother and father, you know, all of that comes with that student. And so um, I'm just really, you know, intrigued by that and what she's doing. Um, cause it's a lot, it's a lot, it's real heavy sometimes. And I think people think that their life is really sweet. I, I was funny. I'm probably one of them. When I first started working in higher ed, I worked only on the academic side. And I remember hearing about them having these special amenities. Why they got their own lab and why they have this, that, and then now being in it, I was like, they need their own lab. Do you realize <laughs> that, you know, they need free paper, the, the, the sacrifice they up at five o'clock in the morning. And at least we could do is give them some copies for free, you know, those kinds of things, but you don't know until you know, right? That's right. Yeah. So it's just, um, I, those are the three that resonated for me. Um, I think it's just an awesome display of women and empowerment of women. I think you did a great job. I show it off often. I showed it at my um, job. I was like, look at this, look at this. They're like, this is so pretty. It's so nice, you know. Um, so yeah, those are the three that resonated for me. Hey, Katasha. Thank you, sweetheart. Hey, Dr. Orr. That's my office mate. Hey, hey Red. <laughs> And Red is somebody I grew up with. He's also in education um, in the K through 12 space. Oh, okay. Arius uh, Thomas uh, is watching. She's also in the magazine. Uh, Kelly Beck, Beck, isn't that your girlfriend? Yeah, Kelly. She she just secured a job at Florida A and M. She was working. Yes, on yes. So she's doing good. Uh, hey, Nina Goodwin Sims. Uh, she's on here as well. So thank you all for joining us. Uh, so yes, and I'm glad you, it makes me feel good that you deep dive into uh, the magazine and I'm really hoping that individuals will purchase it in bulk for their student athletes and their sports management majors because again, these are things that need uh, to be in their face and figure I can do that, I can be this. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, thank you. She said, oh, yes, she is. Monique A.J. Smith does. A phenomenal job. She's our champion. Oh, thank you, Katasha. I appreciate you. Yes, um, it is my calling. That that is. I mean, I'm a promoter by nature, and so to be able to promote the women, you do know that we have now gone up to 2,700 members inside the private Facebook group. 
Hey, come on. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And so, yeah, that's my tribe. That's what I do. I really like to promote you individually. And again, you know, I like to change mindsets, maybe to see things differently. See yeah, possibility. That, yes. That's it. Let's see the I think the, I, what I appreciate about um, what you've done is I know with me, you were always forcing me to look inward. It was like, so why does that matter that much? You might need to look at yourself on why it matters. I'm like, because it's this and this and this. No, let's do some self-reflection. <laughs> and so although you may have agreed or disagreed with what was happening, it was this whole like stop and think why you're needing to respond so much to it or react so much to it. Let's let's deal with that part. <laughs> it might be happening and, and it's going to probably always happen. But why are you responding in such, such a, you know, that way? And so I appreciated that because I appreciated that kind of inward kind of forcing me to look at my, my response to it versus saying, yeah, aligning with, you know, what was going on and saying, yes, it was wrong or yes, it was right. But why are you responding in that way? Why does it mean so much to you? And like really deep diving in that part of it. So the four agreements became my friend, even though. It was, it's hard. It's the process. It doesn't happen overnight. You know, I've been doing these bad habits for a long time, but you know, we're working through it. <laughs> oh my gosh. You, your whole demeanor is just so great. I mean, you, you take it on as a wonderful activity, a new thing to learn. And yeah. that's really great. And, and again, your, your whole demeanor explains how you in your good place. I you know what I'm saying? And uh, that that's key. That's really key because I tell people all the time, your advancement has a lot to do with how you do with disappointment, the nose, um, all of that. And uh, until you can get a grip on that, uh, it is not going to work. But it did not stop us from, from putting that intellectual property, all that good stuff. Hey. <laughs> because the thing that you just said, like, let's just say that you are fully into academics, mm -hmm. right? But then you become the ally of athletics to change that perception of what can and cannot happen. You see? Hey, yeah. See, that's why I'm on here with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on here for you to uh, expand my thinking because yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. I mean, I am in a space now where I'm not obviously impacting student athletes every day. And I'll and me, directly. Directly. And correct. Directly. Directly. Right. Um, and so I've often wondered like how how this my new my new life would look without that, you know. Um I still see my my students um and they still come and visit and I still very much connected to that space. Um, but to your point, now I can be the ally mm -hmm. until you know that and, and I still have the ability to make the impact that I want. Oh, no doubt. Because your article was talking about being a what? Bridge a builder. builder. Okay. So we are still in yeah. your sweet spot. This yeah. is what you do. And the fact that most of the things that you talked about were outside of campus activities. Right. That's how I know. Uh, when I call you for what I need, when I come back <laughs> in the 302, I'm yeah. like, hey, that being said, I'm going to say this. I told you this by text. I don't know if I'm going to do it yet because I got an ear infection and I can't <gasps> shake. Oh, mm -hmm. my God, girl, it's just painful, painful. But I was, we're supposed to go, go to the game next Wednesday. You can't. Yeah. You, okay. you and me, me and you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking about Philly. Okay, in Temple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we talked about it, but I didn't know it was still. Well, I haven't, I haven't pulled the trigger because I well come on. I've been sick. Trigger. I've been sick for a whole week. I don't know if you can hear it. No, but I you... finally got medicine on Monday. I'm taking a Z pack. Okay. But if I come, I'm taking a train. Okay. And uh it's gonna be a hit it, clap, and come and on get back on. Right. But I really want to because I really need that camaraderie kind of thing. Yeah. Yes. You yeah. know, so um, but my mother said 
every time you leave this house, you come back sick. I'm like, oh, she called yeah. me right on out. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> I, I did not have COVID. I did not have the flu. I just had an ear infection. So, right. I, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, so just be on the lookout for that. This okay. Is okay. I'm, I'm looking on Doom. Okay. And well, I'm uh, going this weekend to the game. So I'm going to the Celebration Bowl, Cricket Bowl, I guess it's huh. called, to the MEAC SWAC Celebration. Because, because you are because My good Eagles are competing. We were the MEAC champion um, this, in football this year. And um, I went on and bought my tickets, and then we found out that Jackson State was going to be what I figured it would be, you know, um, as he exits out. And so um, it should be a good time. I'm looking forward to it. Well, I went the first time Central went to support Dr. Ingrid Rick and McCray. I was, look, girl, I went up there and bought a whole row of tickets. And again, and then everybody I knew got in the game free was up in the press box. I was like, I can do that again. <laughs> I was trying. I mean, it was only $50 a ticket, but I was right. just trying to make sure all the gardens was all there together and supportive Ingrid. And, but I do want to say something here, and this kind of goes to what we're saying. Okay. So, I am so happy that North Carolina Central football is there. Yes. And the reason why is that because that was Ingrid's hire. Wow. wow. Okay. And yeah, there I'll was questions him. like, you know, uh, you need to let him go. And she wouldn't do it. No, she wouldn't do it, and she stuck to her guns. Well, come you on. know, well, you know what happens when you stick to your guns. You know, they come for you, right? And so, I'm so glad that what she believed in is what is happening this yeah. weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, well, that 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 gives me joy. Yes, yes, because I'm sure if he had lost, they would be able to poke holes in it. Oh, it's some. It's crazy how people are always looking for the negative, but. Well, well, I, mean, no, I mean, I mean, well, I mean, this, this, this is, unfortunately, it's what Dion said, you know, and mm -hmm. so it is what it is, but she just knew what she believed in. She said, we need someone who is an eagle to lead okay. this team. Yes. And that's what she said. And that's what she stood by. And so, and she stood by her convictions and she, she didn't waver. Right. And so for her, I don't know if she's going to be there. I don't know if she's watching on TV. Oh, I'm or sure whatnot. she's going to be there. Uh, going to be there. She, Come on. The, I, I don't know, but here's the point. That her legacy will be playing. Correct. Correct. And that's what brings me joy. Yeah. You, you know, so I always got to be able to tell that part. Because people forget who, who built the foundation while you enjoying all the wonderful Amenities um, of oh yeah, oh, <laughs> the yeah. fruits of oh, the yeah. labor, right? <laughs> the fruits of the labor. Yeah, she's she. Um, I'm excited because Trey. I think he was at Central the same time I was. Like, oh, he might be a little older. <coughs> so it's kind of cool to see a full circle moment. Um, mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. um Lavelle Mo, and when I think about him being on campus at the same time, and now oh, he yeah, I remember him. Yeah. I was keeping stats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of <laughs> cool to see your classmates or people who you know made it in that in their area of expertise and to to get the accolades and and um, get to this to this place. So um, at this point, we are all going there with the hopes to win. But if we don't win, we just having a good time in in Eagle Land. We don't bring we are, listen. I have people I haven't seen in years. They're talking about girl, you going to Atlanta? You going to Atlanta? <laughs> so I mean, it's like a big old homecoming all all over again. I'm excited about it. I even got a, 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 a Eagle Letterman jacket, child. Well, come on, you want to bring that down on Wednesday? <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> bring no. it down on Wednesday. Let me see. I it. gotta get well, girl. <laughs> I gotta get away. <laughs> well, yeah. well, hopefully your Z pack work, and if it worked, just bring it with you when you come. Oh my goodness! So, <laughs> nothing. So, who should buy this magazine? Um, I believe any young professional. I believe any young professional who's interested in, um, entering into the world of academic, um, athletics 
wants want to hear about the experience and stories of women who have um, made great strides. Um, I think as, as students for sure. I think students should be at the 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 at the table on the on this conversation and um, look at opportunities to you know walk in the same paths or create their own paths as a result of listening to other people's stories. Um, I think even mid-level, senior level professionals, I yes. think should have this magazine because it lets you know what your people are doing, you know, and what the impact I, I, that they're having. Um, I think even people outside of athletics, you know, I had to do a lot of convincing and conversation with um, people who were unfamiliar with what we did in our space. Mm -hmm. To me, this is a holistic <laughs> um kind of um I guess a I guess a diagram or not diagram but um a holistic kind of a, a document that shares the experience of of people who've worked in this field for two years 10 years 30 years and you can really get an understanding of what people do um as much as we have been around academic athletics athletic professionals have been around I think there's still people who just don't know <laughs> you know and I had to constantly find myself in spaces explaining why we had to do stuff explaining the importance of you know filling out the progress reports or whatever it was that we were asking in order for people to understand we have an outside governance and it's the NCAA <laughs> they have an expectation of certain things um why do they have two advisors this is why you know these are the things that we were educating them on so I think it's for everybody I even think it's for some some men out here some men folks. Oh, no, oh absolutely I've had several men customers I mean outstanding so to get the copy, you just go to Amazon and type in significance in athletics and sports. This is our fourth issue, our fourth issue. And so thank you. Thank you. And the fifth one is in production now. Mm -hmm. And I'm taking individuals for the sixth one at the end of this month to come out in August. So it again, each time I do it, I'm like, well, if I don't get enough people, I just won't do it. And it just keeps happening. And I'm just I'm just thrilled. I'm thrilled. So who, speaking of that, who should want to be in the magazine? Um, I think one, if you're in this business and you want to showcase your, your, your um, talent, Specialized knowledge. Right? right. I think that's important. I think if you're not in this business, but you're, you have something that indirectly or directly impacts the work that we do, you probably should look to get in here because there are athletic administrators and professionals who read this magazine, and it may be an opportunity for you to expand your your um, reach by getting before them in this space. Even though you don't work in the field, maybe there's something that you do that directly impacts what we do, right? Um, so I think those two people would be excellent showcases for the magazine. Um, I appreciate well, what it did for me. I've gotten so many compliments. Really? Tell me about it. Yeah, I have. I mean, you know, um, I think there were people who didn't know exactly what I did, and this kind of clarified it for them. Um, some of my family and friends were really excited that I had um, my face in a magazine, a really nice magazine, too. Um, <laughs> like, oh, this is so nice. Um, and so I think it's given me some exposure. Um, give me a little credibility because now you see what I do in in in, in the actual paper form, and you know a lot of times with uh, professionals, especially educators, they want to see your ability, but they want to see it documented. And so, um, I'm hoping that it will also create opportunities for me as I look to create other op you know streams of income and revenue and things like that. So I am looking to use it for additional opportunities. So. I'll keep you posted on that. That's that's exactly why we did it. Because again, it, even with Ingrid, I got Ingrid a speaking engagement, okay? And the people said they didn't have any money for it. I said, okay, well, guess what? You will need to buy the magazine for all their attendees. Wow. And I said, Ingrid, you need to invoice her, okay? And so that's how you create the income. You see? Because yeah. now you have a product. All right. 
that you can tell and sell from the stage. That's the whole point of this, you see. Because uh, where I came from as an entrepreneur, from an educated entrepreneur, I don't. I want to kind of make it a little bit more smooth sailing, because I was always a consultant, right? But I didn't know how to package my specialized knowledge in order to monetize it, other than delivering um, advice, right. Right, right, right. How do you do that? And so, but let me tell you this. There's an interesting situation. So it's the the third magazine. Okay. Um, I know of athletic director position that they were um, a search firm hmm. called them in to interview with the president. The two people didn't even apply. Wow. Uh, or, or either they were asked to apply. And both of them were not collegiate athletic athletic directors. And wow. so again, the magazine in the hands of a search firm mm -hmm. put them in front of decision makers to bring them in. And one of those individuals did get the job. Wow. And they yeah. weren't even in the business, so to speak. They were just no, they, they were in the business, but they oh. did not apply for the job. Oh, okay, awesome. And they were they, they they were solicited to apply for the job. Wow. And to come in for an interview. And um, you know, so it's twofold. People, decision makers will see you. Then also it will elevate um you on campus. And then thirdly, it builds up your confidence to be able to, when you go for that job interview, it will just flow right off of you. And that's yeah. really what you want you want to be able to do. Because here's the thing. I was trying to get people to join the Speakers Bureau. And mm -hmm. nobody was moving. But when I said, come and be in a magazine, they got it. So I said, okay, come be in a magazine. Let me do expert marketing with you. Right. And then let me help you get speaking engagements. Wow. So that's how it all comes about. Yeah. I just appreciate the way you, I, I mean, I, it's so, it, the way you kind of come up with these concepts to, to market yourself. Like, I feel like that's such a skill set because you, I, I mean, I'm thinking of the traditional way of, you know, getting the speaking engagements and actually teaching classes. And it's like, no, you can do that too, but how do you make your knowledge work for you? And this allows you to still get your information out there without having to be in that space. It's kind of like that, I, I would say, passive income. Oh, yeah, all day long. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, girl, I, I listen for the pain, the pain, right. the pain, the pain, the pain. <laughs> right. Okay. And, then, and, yeah. then, and, then, and then the, when the first magazine, I was showing individuals how to make their own pay hit page mm. and teaching them how to have the passive piece. Right. But, uh, but, but you have to kind of stay on it. Like you got to be able to say, I have a so and so and so and so. Right. So, I mean, it was still free. Pay hip is still free, you know, mm -hmm. how you set it up. Mm -hmm. But um, I think I, I, I just like, all right, go ahead and just make your own, own invoice and just send it that way. Right. But for people who are in entrepreneurship, this is what I've been trying to tell them. Yeah, I wake up to ping, 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 you know? That's a blessing. And it is. It is. <laughs> That's a blessing. Can I, you I imagine think, being able to still like go to sleep and still wake up and make money? Like I'm ready. I'm ready for that at some point in my life. <laughs> it's a, but it's a total blessing, girl. Let me tell you, when I paid a person to teach me how to make a PayPal link, girl, life became different. You hear me? Because <laughs> usually. Usually my payment came from doing staff retreats mm. and waiting for universities to pay. Me. Yeah. And that was, you see, I'm not losing my head. I was going to say, that. that's a process. Trust me. I feel you. Yeah. Contact, so I was like, you know. I, I need to have more income streams other yeah. than just the staff retreats. Yeah. And so this became that. And then plus executive coaching. And I, as you can tell, as you said, you enjoyed that. And so, and it worked. Yes. And so, but so I'm going to do a little executive coaching here with you. Okay. 
Yeah. But it's, it's a repeat what we already said before we came on the air. Okay. So um, we, was, we were speaking about um, um, your new role and how you were doing audits for doctoral students. And I said, what do you have? Uh, what are your offerings in the doctoral area? And so you mentioned sociology. And because of the first magazine, we became exposed to um, the certification of social workers in sport. <coughs> Excuse me. And so I've been preaching it, girl, I'm preaching it and preaching it and preaching it that you only need a certification if you are already in that space. Mm -hmm. And so I was saying to you, and I said, the problem is we stop ourselves from playing big because we in higher ed, we think we need to have the other degree and da, 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 da. And let me just say this. I admire and appreciate PhDs. I just decided to take my inheritance to learn how to become an entrepreneur than to become a PhD because having a PhD was not guaranteed of money. Okay. And so guarantees that though. Yeah, yeah. And so this helped me figure out how to get that passive income, that ping ping. It's not to say that I won't go back and go get my PhD, but right. again, the and, and and mind you, I learned it from here because we become paralyzed with what we think we need. And so it's because if you're a high achiever, and I had a client that I just saw this month mm. that is very similar, she would continue to go get the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. And her whole thing was, yeah, but I have this and I'm not getting this. Mm. And I'm like, Okay, well, for one thing, you having this sometimes intimidate the other. I'm not saying don't get it, but you have to understand it's not you, it's them. Right. right. You know, and so she was on the high school level, trying to get in the collegiate level, and she wasn't being accepted because she was already had a doctorate. Wow. Right. And so, um, but it's interesting because what she came to me for, she's actually doing exactly that. Wow. And so I was like, and again, she didn't even see it until she's like, right. So you still over here upset about how these folks did you, but if they did you really well, you wouldn't have had got the thing that you ain't really asked for. Right. But the same thing I said to her, I'm saying <laughs> you and to everybody else. Um, because we're high achievers, we're used to getting graded. Mm. We want the grade. We want the affirmation. Yep. And there's a time where there's no more classroom. You've got to do the internal check to say, yes, I did achieve. Yes, I did get. Yes, I got the knowledge. Because you continue to look for outside for affirmation of it. And that is also include getting another certification, another certification. Today's world, girl, just watch YouTube. <laughs> you right. Okay, okay, just get that certification on LinkedIn. Okay, you know, I mean, as it relates to just getting the basic knowledge, right. like uh, for, for my contract work, I had to watch cyber something. Mm. And I, all the different terms, I was like, oh, so don't get <laughs> me wrong. I believe you got to stay up on stuff and still have to learn. Right. I'm just saying, don't let that stop you from going to your next. I can't go after blank because I don't have blank. Right. Okay. You, it could be just, it, it could be the networking that's necessary. Just having oh, a yeah. conversation. Um, and you may not need that elevate. I think too, though, you got to think, especially working in higher ed, I don't know. Well, you work in higher ed. So, you know, I feel like there's this push to get the terminal degree. You know, okay, as soon now listen. As See, that's what I'm talking about. about. See, here's the thing. I say all the time. Who is guiding your ship? Good point. I mean, I okay. Can... Society. Who are you? Ever... <laughs> they is all of that. 
you got to make a decision. Are you going to let them guide you and put you in all types of positions that you're not really in? See, I started doing that a long time ago. I mean, right. do you know how many people will say to me, well, why aren't you doing this? And why? Because that's not what I want to do. <laughs> right. And I actually know. Now, if I go about with everybody, yeah, but you got this, this, and this, there's no reason why. Da, 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 da. I said, I want to be able to control my time. I want to be able to control who I work with. Right. And so, uh, yeah, it calls for different things to, to happen, but I'm at peace with that. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm still able to go in the flow and, and do and do what I do. Right. But that's the whole point. Who are you going to allow to, to define success for you? That's why I see significance and not success. Right. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, yes, even Hampton University uh, says that if I'm to teach grad classes, uh, yeah. then I must have a PhD. But guess what? It does not stop me from teaching grad students because they put the students in the class. <laughs> so I'm still having it back. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, I don't get caught up in all that. If it's for you, it's going to be agreed for you and i'm not i'm not putting out no report cards to get a report to see how i'm doing except for the situation as, as relating to this i'm trying to find out as it relates because this is marketing all right okay. this is not a grade this is not reflected upon me and how i'm doing i want to okay. know how the product is doing okay so i want to get that kind of clear but yeah i I'm, i was really excited when two people i mean when i look at it i am going to do i'm going to do a grid of those who have been in the magazine Mm. and their advancement okay oh that's good i like that <laughs> yeah i am gonna do that um number two we talk about networking that's when we have a garden 2700 members yeah okay <laughs> and so i am looking for the next individuals that want to be in the mix you should do it <laughs> Hey, Alicia Tucker, who's now at UMES, Natalie Butler Rogers, <laughs> excuse me, Dorian uh -oh. Johnson, Angel Mason. Angel, I know I, I still owe you something, honey. I ain't got it. I'm going to get to it. Hey, everybody. Uh, huh? I was saying, hey, everybody. Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, Shakara Person. That's my girl. I work with her at Hampton. Okay. She's going to get a spot. I'm determined. Janet Ross Hoffman and Christine Hampton Jackson. Y'all, it has been a pleasure to join you all on this Wednesday talking about significance in athletics and sports. Go get yeah. your copy for Amazon today because I actually don't have any more. <laughs> uh -oh. I'm all it out. Yeah. Uh, well, hold on. Let's go back to this. You need to get this book. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I wrote it down. Find your voice, your mission, your mission, your message. Yeah. And this book, did this book, I start reading, I want to say December 2014. You see how thick it is. Well, I was gonna ask, is it an easy read? Well, you see, I got little things on here. Okay. <laughs> Girl, I mean, it was, it was, it was okay. I'm a nerd. I was in, I was in a, I just happened to be in the bookstore and I picked it up. And I, I, I actually, I used, um, she has a workbook and I oh, use wow. it with my, with my retreats. And uh, I mind you, I did this one at Alabama State. So I did a student athlete one. And I did a uh, women's staff retreat, Alabama State, years ago, oh. I think 2014. Okay. And I used some of this, um, um, some of this information in here. Oh, I got to do this one for you. Okay. Okay. Unhooking from praise and criticism. Uh-oh. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to Okay. Six, three. Oh. It's funny you said this, and I didn't know. Maybe I was reiterating what I read. Six reasons we care so much about what other people think. Women's attachment to praise and criticism. It comes, again, from having a grade. 
So it's, it's just, it's really important to unlearn what you learn for 12 years plus. Yeah. Yep. And, and that's really it. Uh, we're, we're, because women are relationship focused. You know, as kids, we play with Barbie dolls where the, get, where the guys play games. It ends and begins. Ends mm. and begins. Ours, everything just continues. Mm. And we don't know how to stop and begin. Stop and begin. Because we weren't socialized that way. You wow. see what I'm saying? So we gotta yeah, unlearn that thing. You know, second one, heightened awareness of others' reaction. I don't know about you, but when I was, I'm an only child. And so I, I was always, I was, I was emotional intelligence. I knew when my dad had a bad day. Mm-hmm. And I think I adjusted my comings and goings based on that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But also as a younger kid, I just was trying to figure what I can do to make him happy. Mm-hmm. See, that's how we also do people at work. Oh, yeah. This is how we do do our girlfriends. We gauge them to see how they are. You see? Mm -hmm. And, and, um, yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. I I, I can see myself. So you think that's a woman woman thing? Because men, because men, I think about my 18 year old. He's like so oblivious sometimes. (laughs) He just got marches at. And then he'll say, Mom, every now and then, you okay? I'm like, oh, now you're here today. But I'm sure that's because I've conditioned him to be more cognizant of what goes on around him. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes he's just like, I'm going to do what I'm going to do because that's what I want to do. Now he's 18. I think that's being a teenager, honey. I was going to say, he's 18 too. Yeah, it's a teenager. Yeah, the world is mine to conquer. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. you think about anybody else. I ate every, like all 10 pieces of chicken. Oh, really? (laughs) <laughs> and I'm exaggerating night, right? But I mean, you didn't think about anybody else in here. Kids. No. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so what's the other? You said that was three? Yeah, and no, a th- third one, a history wow. of survival. Okay, here we go. Okay. A history of survival through likability and social influence. Mm. So if you know. Oh my goodness. I, as I'm looking back, I remember being somewhere and a person was offering me a job. And I said, oh no. I went her over. And he was like, no, you ain't gonna win her over. Come on over here. I was like, mm-hmm. and sure enough, I listened to what he said and I did make that move. But right. I always thought, you know, I could wear people over. Right, right, right. You know, but that's a lot of waste of energy, to be honest with you. Yeah. But I was young too. So that's you know? suggesting that you don't like don't that just do the work. You don't have to win anybody over. Just do well, the work. you do have to market yourself. You do have to tell people what you're doing. That's the other okay. part. We think okay. people are just going to see what we're doing, okay. and unless you, that's why the magazine is important right. because a day of just doing a real good job and everybody knowing about it is uh, yeah, it's over. Yeah, it, is. it really is. And I'm not <laughs> saying they have a whole social media page for it. Right. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, now here's another one. I mean, that's what LinkedIn is for, honestly. Yeah. Here's another one. Number four. Okay. Fear of personal attack. Wow. Yeah. All right. So that's why the four agreements come in. <laughs> okay. <So good. laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Cultural focus on girls and women's appearances. Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, I, I, I don't know. I was gonna say the person. I was gonna get the, the person has a title in my life, and I stopped. I know she would know it was her. But when we were in college, she would see me and says, "Where's your lipstick?" And I had on sweats and a hat. <laughs> and she came out the dorm looking. I was like, "Huh?" Impeccable. Right, right. I was <laughs> like, like going? I, 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 "Look, I ain't got time for that. I'm gonna go in, go out. Okay." And so, yeah, my, my, my mother's like, where is your lipstick? Really? I, I'm probably, with this bright behind lipstick, I'm probably not a good person. Oh, no, I mean, I really should have. I grabbed the first thing. I really should. Because, again, when you are on media, you need right. to put on something bright so you can see. <laughs> okay. And then number six, good, good girl condition. Mm. And so it does go on to tell you, Five principles for unhooking from praise and criticism. 
Okay, I gotta tell you this. Okay, I live okay. in New York. Okay. Principle one: feedback doesn't tell you about you; it tells you about the person giving the feedback. Wow. All right. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. number two: incorporate feedback that's strategically useful and let go the rest. I, I agree with that. I've learned how to okay. do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And and that goes to family. Yeah. Because um, you know, they don't they don't they're not going down our path. Many things people respond out of fear and don't understand. The next one is criticism hurts when it mirrors what we believe about ourselves. Agreed. Okay. I, I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um Ask what's more important to me than praise. Okay. Um, but I was trying to get the part. I was trying to get to the part about the education. Okay, here we go. Sorry. Chapter mm -mm. five. This is the most this this one got a big pink one. Okay. This is what I was trying to get to. Leave good student habits behind. Wow. Leave good student habits behind. Okay, so that's how we're socialized. We want to be the good girl, right? And go get that extra. Okay, so it says adapting to versus adapt to versus challenging and influence authority. So let's just say, like I just said about what they want you to go do. Mm -hmm. So I'm adapting to, but I'm not necessarily challenging. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'll go do it if you pay for it. <laughs> right, 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 right. You know, I mean, that's a lot of money to, to, to not know whether it's going to increase my pay. Right. Okay. Um, here's another one. Prepare, pre preparation versus improvision. Okay. Preparation so, versus? Um, Improperation. Oh, and, okay. So it's funny because like my, my interns, mm -hmm. okay, even my class, they'll say, oh, I, I didn't make my presentation. I said, uh, you got a phone, uh, get Canva, make it by in the class and I'll see you at the front. I know that's right. You know what I mean? Like we, we, I'm not going for that. Right, right. You right, know, right. a smart person, you just bam, you know, and one of the best presentations ever done. Right. You know, so <laughs> let's, let's keep it going. Okay, that's funny. Inside out versus outside in. Inside out versus outside in. And you had already said that. You had already said I told you what it looked. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. So okay. apparently I internalized this book and I was spitting it out. And didn't, didn't even know. <laughs> well, thank okay. you. Here's another one. This is what I told you before. Just do good work versus do good work and make it visible. I yeah. just said, yeah, I yeah. just said that. Yeah, that's why you need to get this book. Yeah, I mean, you can cheat and go, go get the audio book. <laughs> yeah, I may have to. I, I have an hour drive to work, so hour, oh my gosh, girl, yeah, hour, right? it's always yeah. good for audible. It's got journal questions. I mean, this book. I should do a whole, I should do a whole. You could probably do a whole series on that book. Yeah, I think I, so if y'all listen, uh, shoot me an inbox if you think I should. Because this is the kind of, now mind you, in the Advanced Academy, I do. That's really where I do do these kind of trainings. Mm, okay. And um, there's a, um, an Advanced Academy is a really great place because every third Sunday at nine o'clock, we get together. And um, people share what, what their challenges are and what their wins are. And then as a group, we kind of talk about it, whatnot. I usually give a training or I have a guest expert to talk. And so last month, we talked about no excuses with Dr. Karen Hall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, do you have women from various backgrounds and like in different various um career fields or is it um yeah i mean i think uh, i had a young lady who wrote a book called um don't leave uh don't leave money on the table but mm -hmm. was negotiating 
So, so maybe most of it is about career piece. Um, oh, Dr. Angel Mason, she did one on emotional intelligence. Mm, okay. Yeah. And so, I mean, it, it again, I'm, I'm really trying to capitalize on specialized knowledge um, and then to try to bring it to our paid group. Because again, it's a it's a paid membership piece. Um, but yeah. And as you can tell, I love, 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 love what I do. And mind you, again, let me see one of this book. I think again, I think it was done in 2014. Yep, I was right. Copyright 2014. And I've I've purchased this book for several people to say, you need this, you need this. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to download on Audible. Yes. Yeah. Well, well, thank you so much for joining me and, oh, and trusting me with your, me with your brand. I appreciate it. No, thank you for having me. I just appreciate you. Um, I think someone said it earlier. You know, you're awesome at what you do. You believe in the women that you pour into, or you believe in the work, right? You believe in what, um, and, and the fact that you identify something in me that needed a little work. I'm, I'm appreciative of that. Um, I think it stung initially, um, but once I started to really reflect and to see, I knew it came from a place of love and wanting to see me um, develop and grow. And so for that, I want to say thank you. And I'm sure I'm speaking on behalf of all of the women that you've encountered, because I'm going to tell you famous. I've met some people and they're like, yeah, Miss Monique. I know. Yeah, Miss Monique. Everybody knows Miss Monique. Everybody knows <laughs> I appreciate you. Thank, I you. Appreciate Thank you. you. Yes. And I let you know if I'm coming through on Wednesday. Okay? Yes, please get better. Rest. Thank you. Thank nice you. Nice meeting it or nice um chatting with everybody in the garden. Have an awesome night. You too. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay. I know I'm trying to I'm trying to say bye. Okay, let's try it again. This pop up, man. Okay, hold on. All right, here we go. Uh ooh. okay. Girl, we still here. <laughs> I think so.